Elijah, can you just talk about for you personally, like the growth from the first week to the second week? You seem more involved, of course, on the second game. You know, in what ways do you think maybe you grew? I feel like I just felt more comfortable. You know, um, football has ups and downs. You know, you just gotta learn how to take. You know, you, whatever you take from them is like the best, the best part. So when I went to film and cleaned it up, I felt better about what my assignments were and moving, and moving forward, I was going to be better. What were you feeling in that first game? If you're more comfortable now, what were you feeling in the first game? It's a feeling you can't really explain. Um, football, football, you're just going to be out there. You're going to have the more balls you get. You know, after that first catch, people feel better. After that first hit, people feel better. But it's just something moving, moving forward. I just know how to attack better. So it's, it's something unexplainable. Was there a little um, anything plaguing you that first month and the time you missed, like in that first game that you were then able to knock that rust off in, in week two? No. Mm. I, I, when people told me before, like my, my teammates were kind of telling me, like, oh, would you want to get the, you know, the rust off in the games before? But I attack everything full speed. You know, even if it was that game, it was first game, I feel like that had to happen. You know, I walked in and Coach LaFleur told me, he was like, I knew that was going to happen. He was like, good, just keep, just keep moving. And that's all, the, that's all the confidence I, you know, I needed to hear. What was it like that first game? It's unexplainable. You can't really explain it. It's just a, it's a, it's just a feel. You know, it's just the more games you play, the better you'll feel. You were prolific at Ole Miss as far as receptions. Here, the, there, you had weapons there too, but there's so many weapons here. You might not get those kind of 10, 11 catch games. So ha you might at some point, but other games you won't. How do you stay in a group not getting as many passes as you did in college? You just have to make the most of your opportunities. You know, if you get two catches, two catches got to be, you know, you got to think touchdown. So it's all a mindset. That's, that's pretty much how I'm going to attack it. Did you face um, Sertan in college? I haven't. I, yeah, we played Bama, but I was never, like, one-on-one one -on -one with him. Uh -huh. Yeah. What about in high school? No, nah, our teams never played. We was, like, both, like, both premier teams. We just never got to match up in high school. So that's something you might look forward to Sunday? Of course. <laughs> look, looking forward to playing in general. You know, another opportunity to do great and, you know, show our gifts that God gave us. How would you feel about Sunday, you personally? How would you feel about your performance? I mean, we lost, so it wasn't good enough. So I saw really what I took from it. You know, every play I could have did some, something better even when I win. So. It's all about getting better and moving forward and putting my best foot forward. So I watched the film, game over, cleaned up. We got a nice game. Um, uh, I mean, obviously, you alluded to doing things better. Um, obviously, they're playing, you were getting open on the J.C. Jackson uh, interception. Um, I know you're a little bit covered. What are the things that you could have done better to create more, a little more separation? I'm sorry. I don't know what play you are talking about. <laughs> uh, I think it was like a corner route. Um, Zach threw it kind of late. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Probably just getting my debt more, pushing up to my exact debt. It was 12. I think I broke it like 9, 10. And then running out my break. You know, there's so much factors that play into what we could have did better on that on that play. But as far as myself, that's pretty much what I would say. What are some of the things you could get away with in college where you absolutely dominated that at a receiver you can't really get away with on this level? Lining up alignments, just knowing your assignments. Every, everything in the league is more detailed. You know, um, just as far as what you got to get on. If, you, if your route says 12, get 12, you know, because getting 12 is going to open somebody else up, you know. So just knowing the concepts and, and why you're doing it, you know, this is something that's like an ongoing learning process for me. And I feel like everybody is, you know, is knowing exactly why everything's opening up the way it does. We have to trust the coaches. And whenever you do that, you can't go wrong. Coach Salah said you were in the receiver's room with uh, Miles the other day. Just stay in late. Can you talk about the time that you've been putting in on this to make sure you get those details, what that's like Of for course. You? Um, I feel like that's everybody in the building. You know, we all want to be legendary. We all say it. Um, we're trying to switch this program around and become become something that everybody remembers. So, you know, it definitely takes more than just being being in here on, on the regular hours and seeing what we did wrong so we can fix it so it doesn't happen again. You make a mistake once, and I promise you the mistake won't happen again. You know, the same mistake. So that's kind of how the mindset I feel like we all have, you know, in this facility. You're starting you with a clean slate, though, right? Because you, you didn't feel that culture before that existed before you were here. So what does that feel like for you as a rookie trying to turn that around? And how do you go to the veterans who have been here and to, to I guess, get it going in that right direction? I feel like, you know, everyone leads by example. You know, so just being the rookie that they see do, do that, they can only learn from that, too. And I see a lot of vets do that, so I learn from them. 
you know, so it's like a butter, you know, it's like a uh, what a butterfly effect. So from what everybody says, so I'm just I'm just trying to lead, you know, lead the way with being with being a rookie.